I'm the one that's been offended. I'm the one that's had my feelings hurt. I'm the one that's been let down. My expectations haven't been met. And you want me to consider the other person? Absolutely. I said what I said. The narrative that I hear every single day is so just self-consumed. And I could see if we were just the most selfless people on the planet. But I'm just gonna keep it a buck. I have been in relationships where I'm not really thinking about the other person. I'm thinking about what I can get from it. I'm thinking about how this benefits me, what, what I want, what need it's meeting, what itch it's scratching. Sometimes even people's desire to help other people is satisfying a selfish desire. I want to be needed. I like the feeling of being needed, of being wanted, of being the person that people call who needs help. So again, at the end of the day, at the core of who we are, we're all selfish. So all the current narrative does, in my personal opinion, is encourage people to do what they do naturally. And that is to consider yourself, to say mine, mine, mine. My contentment, my success, my drive, my level. It's about me. And I am suggesting that it's not always about you. I'm not saying that people don't know that, but I don't think that it always manifests in the way that we approach friendships and relationships. So yes, you were offended, you were hurt, you were let down. We are not talking about abuse. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about people who are doing life with one another as imperfect people and they run up against the tension that exists in friendship. Expectations have been missed and now boundaries have been crossed. Like every difficult situation isn't an abusive one. Every friendship that is hard doesn't mean that it's toxic. There's the difference between being toxic and then people just being hard to love. <laughs> like I have a whole post on that. Everybody just wants a reason to consider themselves, which is something that we naturally do anyway. What you're going to hear on this platform is consider the other person. Seek to understand before being understood. Ask questions. Be curious. All of the things. There are some seasons where we have to deny ourselves. Matter of fact, as a Christian in general, I'm told to consider other people all the time. Like I'm supposed to do my best to live at peace with other people. I'm supposed to be preferring other people. I'm supposed to be bearing with other people. I'm supposed to leave my daggone gift at the altar if I remember there that my brother has an ought with me. Not that I got an issue with him, but that he got something going on with me. God's like, I don't even want your worship, my G. Like, don't come up in this altar to me talking about whatever you talking, you love me and, all and you got issues with this person over here. So again, I don't understand how I pursue peace <laughs> with others and you know what I'm saying? Like making sure I'm not burning bridges and doing my best to prefer other people if I'm not having conversations, if I'm not asking questions, if I'm not being curious, if I'm just going about doing what's best for me. And I just want to be sensitive to the people who feel like they have been in seasons for a very long time where no one has considered them. No one has, pref has preferred them. No one has sought to understand them before being understood. Like if you've been on that side of the coin for a long time, then you absolutely not trying to hear what I have to say. I am always going to be promoted, preferring other people, considering other people, even as the person who's been hurt. Because the standard for me is treating people the way that you want to be treated. And I, when I am in my foolishness, when I'm making poor choices, when I want people to tell me, Chris, you're in the wrong place. You, like KB, you're not, you're not loving well. Like you need to be checked. You can't talk to me this way. This is not a boundary you get to cross. Our relationship is not, this is not what it's about. <laughs> you get what I mean? Like I need people to, to tell me that. That's the other thing. I think people think that all of this conversation about having conversations and stuff is like not tied to any action. Like, are you kidding me? Say what you need to say and then reset your boundary. Like say what you need to say and then clarify your expectations. Say what you need to say and then call out the elephant in the room. Be honest. Do the work. Do the work, please. I'm done. You didn't got me fired up.